Hi. This screencast will show you how to build animation graphs with Playmaker. Here we have the construction worker available in the standard assets character controller package. And we've added a simple state machine with a state for each animation. So the idle state plays the idle animation, walk state plays the walk animation, run state plays the run animation. If we hit play, We can preview this animation states by alt clicking on each state. And it blends between the animations. So that's already pretty cool. And the state machine lets you build sequences and uh, reactions based on the current state very easily. But Playmaker lets you do a lot more than this. A good animation graph is a black box that lets you send events and set variables and get good looking animation out. So let's make this graph do a little bit more. Let's control the transitions between these states based on the movement speed of the character. So we can make a move speed variable and a run speed variable. The move speed is the current speed the character, and we'll expose it in the inspector. And the run speed is the speed at which the character will start running. So let's make that three, and also expose that in the inspector. So you can tweak these values easily in the inspector over here. You can also set tooltips so people know what these variables do. Now let's set up some transitions based on the move speed. So in the idle state, we want to say if the move speed is greater than zero, we should transition to walk. We can find these kind of tests in the logic category in the action browser. So we'll use float compare to compare the move speed to zero. And if it's greater than zero, we'll send the to walk event. And we want to perform this operation every frame. In the walk state, We'll do two tests. First, if the move speed is greater than the run speed, we'll send to run. So he starts running. Secondly, if the move speed is less than or equal to zero, We'll go back to idle. Finally, in the run state, if the move speed is less than the run speed, we'll go to walk. And we'll do that every frame as well. So let's test this out. Now, as we change the move speed in the inspector, we can see the state's automatically changing between idle, walk, if he walks fast enough to run. So let's take this one step further. Often in games, you'll see the speed of the walk animation scaled by the movement speed. So let's add a walk anim speed variable. And in the walk state, we'll do some math. This is very simple math. We're just going to use float operator. We'll take the move speed divided by the run speed and store the result as the walk animation speed. We'll do this every frame. So this basically just says as uh, the movement speed approaches the run speed, the walk anim speed becomes one. Or if the move speed is half the run speed, the animation would be half the speed. So now we just need to set the animation speed. Uh, the walk. 
using the walk anim speed that we just calculated. And we'll do it every frame. So let's try that out. Now, the movement speed is low, the walk speed is slow. And as it approaches the run speed, he walks quicker. He goes through the transition, starts running. So that wraps up this screencast. We quickly built an animation graph. It's pretty smart. And a third person controller or AI controller can simply set the move speed variable and get the right animations out. And an animator has complete control over the behavior of the animations in this state machine, which is pretty cool. Thanks.